you guys, it's Megan. I hope you're all having a great start to your weekend. It's Friday evening and I just finished editing the vlog from last weekend. Um, kind of cutting it close, but um, I just wrapped that up after I finished work and um, my mom and Rachel are picking up some dinner, so um, I have a little bit until I have to go downstairs and eat with them, but uh, I just wanted to start the vlog. I felt like talking to you guys, and oh, this week was really <laughs> intense, rough, weird, um, like just with my emotions and just being really overwhelmed and I feel like a few months ago I started off a vlog similar to this just being like really really worn down about this whole situation with a quarantine and the coronavirus and everything that has changed so drastically in all of our lives and um I don't handle stress very well. I don't cope with it very well and how I usually cope with it is by really getting like into things and like distracting myself but then it all comes crashing down eventually so I've been really really focused on my room as you guys know and reorganizing and I have felt so much better since I did that like I I I thought that I felt better and I do feel better in a lot of different ways that like I don't have so much like stuff around me I don't have like piles everywhere so in that sense it's like helped me but I feel like it's just how I am that I just want to really distract myself when I am down or don't know what to think or feel or whatever and then like I said, it all comes crashing down and um, yeah, so I am going on anxiety medicine and starting therapy again, which I haven't been in therapy for eight years, I think. And that <laughs> decision was, it was like really hard, but also really easy, like the once I thought it, I was like, oh my god, why didn't I think of this sooner? And I've cried so much about everything <laughs> this week and um, mostly I'm like relieved, I guess, but it is, I don't know, it's just hard, I guess, to admit that. And I wanted to tell you guys, like, I didn't have to and sometimes I feel like maybe I shouldn't tell you guys as much, but I feel like if it were to help like one person like seek help or just like admit that maybe you need to talk to someone or I just talked to my family doctor and they have like so many great options now with like virtual like visits I did like a virtual visit um through my phone and then they have like um virtual therapy like so you don't have to go into an office if you don't feel comfortable so um I don't know it's I feel like a lot of us are going through one of the hardest like periods of our lives and yeah it's obviously very emotional um as you can tell it's been like I said a very intense week and um I've just felt like a lot of overwhelmed feelings and just like a lot of stress and so many things that are like have been piling up under the surface that I have dealt with in different ways up to this point and up to this point it's been okay but I really feel like I definitely reached my breaking point and yeah so thankfully I have like so many supportive people around me and like it's just 
it's it hasn't been difficult with like people's reactions or anything so and it's so common these days anyway like people don't talk about it as much and i wish that we did talk more about mental health in our society and i wish it was more like supported by like vocally supported by people but um yeah you just have to do what you need to do to take care of yourself and if you like i always felt like oh this is just how i am like i just always am overwhelmed and i get like t like tight in my chest and just like tense and i've been very irritable lately which <laughs> you guys don't see because i don't show that side of myself in my videos but that doesn't mean i'm not a total asshole sometimes and yeah so i've been very very irritable and just like overwhelmed stressed anxious everything um but that was like a, a low point and a high point of this week was like talking to my doctor and like deciding on a plan for me so that was really good and scary but good um and then i got to see two of my best friends this week and i have barely seen anyone throughout this whole quarantine which definitely doesn't help um like the feeling of abnormality um but i told you guys Alyssa came home to work from her parents house this week and so we there was like two beautiful days this week in between horrible like tropical storms and like the hurricane um that happened on tuesday and we lost power tuesday and wednesday just thankfully for short periods of time but i hope you guys fared okay throughout that when i saw one girl i love to follow on instagram crystal she lives in um ocean isle in um north carolina where the hurricane like made landfall and there was some pretty serious destruction that happened there so i hope you guys are doing okay and um so many people out like my parents work and my work had like flooding and all that so that was obviously not good that happened this week um but in between that um there were two gorgeous gorgeous days and one i got to see Alyssa, and we hung out on their back porch and just like talked for three hours and it was amazing it was like the weather was amazing i got to see her dog mocha and so that was really therapeutic and um yes that was great and then me and one of my other best friends caitlin got together the next night and had dinner for her birthday so um that was really great and again it was a gorgeous evening so it was those were like two really like good nights and I feel like ever since then I've just been feeling better like today I felt so good I had so many like successful meetings and um work is going really well so I'm very thankful about that and just fortunate to have found a job that I like love <laughs> and I always just thought of work as work but I do really love my job so I'm very happy about that and um as if i didn't have enough big changes going on um i'm getting invisalign on monday so this might be the last vlog that i have a normal sounding voice because i feel like i'm definitely gonna have a lisp and have to relearn how to like use my mouth and talk and everything because so much changes when you have like orthodontia and um i can't wait to say goodbye to my crooked ass teeth they they've really gotten bad over the past like two years especially and sometimes really like ache um because i can tell they're shifting in a bad way so we're gonna shift them in a good way and i can't wait because i used to have a perfect <laughs> like straight smile um and like the front of my teeth isn't bad but it's just that my bottom teeth are very crooked now and it is now affecting my upper teeth and that's when i was like okay enough is enough because i don't want to have like all my teeth get crooked um because a few are crooked and then it like ruins it for the rest of them so 
I can't wait to start that, but I'm gonna try to film um, quite a few videos this weekend before I have any <laughs> weird lisp or something that, whatever, I'll just get used to it, but I even moved some of my meetings that I had <laughs> next week, I pushed them to this week um, and got them over with before that, just in case I wanna take like some time off or something if it's like bothering me or whatever. So yeah. But I just kind of wanted to update you guys on that and I actually did my makeup today. Usually I either don't really wear makeup or I do it at like the very end of the day just so I like can decompress a little bit. But I did my makeup and I wore one of my favorite eyeshadows that I haven't worn in forever and it is the Sydney Grace Cliff Jumping Cream Shadow. And I just have, it's pretty much just that eyeshadow with a little bit of matte kid in the crease, but it's pretty much just cliff jumping. It's gorgeous. And I'm very glowy. As you guys know, I like being glowy, but um, sometimes like I have my like video lights on and sometimes it just looks so glowy compared to how I feel like it looks in real life, but. That's just the downfalls of these professional lights sometimes. But yeah, I just wanted to catch up with you really quick. And of course, I'll bring you guys along this weekend on anything of note. Um, I've done a little more organizing in my room as well that I'll update you guys on. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys are doing okay. And if you feel like you're just really overwhelmed, I encourage you to talk to your doctor. If you are feeling any really, really overwhelmed or depressed or anxious feelings, there is help and you don't have to feel like this for an extended period of time. So, um, Every day I feel completely different. Like some days it's like really overwhelming and today it was like a roller coaster because they at work officially announced we will not be going back into the office until 2021 which <laughs> I can't even get into it because that's like part of my anxiety is like very much like about all these major changes so I won't stress myself out about that again today but yeah just if you need to talk to someone there are people that you can talk to and get help in the ways that work best for you anyway Let's just get on into the rest of the weekend and the vlog. So we're watching Wheel of Fortune and I'm doing my nails. I got these Dashing Diva gloss strips, which I've used one time before. I just put on the thumbnail. In the packaging, it just comes like this with like one row that you can see and then the accent nails. And I was like, wow, how the heck are you supposed to do both hands with just one strip? And then like I jostled the thing around and another strip came out. So if you got, like if you ever buy these, there are two sets of the main um, like type. So I like these because it came with mostly all glitter nails, which is what I like about this. Um, like little thing is that the glitter is very smooth and they lasted like two weeks on me So I'm gonna do both of my hands with the these and I'll show you the final result Okay, I have Rachel filming so we can show the nails They look so good. So this is one hand. I can't show you both hands because I'm holding up the light Do you want me to hold Oh yeah, that's a good idea Here. Oh Good idea, Rach. Oh, ew, that one has like a hair on it. <laughs> Don't show that. <laughs> the only problem is because they're stickers, it can kind of like ripple a little bit, like if you don't get it exactly perfectly. But the glitter looks so good. And I did some of them with the, they have kind of an ombre. I did some with the ombre at the base and some just like completely glitter. All right, so an exciting thing that I got today it was a new phone. So for me, I love my eight and I don't really like the newest model. So I decided to get the eight plus and this is always the most satisfying part is like undoing this thing. So, and, you got the black. and I got the full black. Oh, cause I love the full black, like the black front. I think it's just nice when I watch videos and since i've been doing more like instagram lives oh this is actually the most satisfying part like when you pull it like this my mom also got a new phone she got the same one but in rose gold 
Oh yes, and then this, when you take off the stuff, oh, that is so satisfying to me. So you can see like the size difference. I mean, this is not new news. The eights are pretty old, but um, yeah, it has like the better camera and a way bigger screen. So I'm excited about that. And I also got a new pop socket and case. I love these Casemate Twinkle cases. As you know, I love sparkles. And so I have like this one on this phone. So I got gold for this one and then a gold and like marble pop socket. I just think that combo is really nice. So I'm just gonna set up my new phone and play with this as we watch Food Network and HGTV. Okay, this is so cool. It's like c connecting both phones so it will put all my apps on here. Oh my God, this is sick. Now it is going to officially set up my new phone and I already put on the case. It is gorgeous. Of course, I don't want to drop it. Literally, when I got the eight, the very first night that I got it, I went to a concert and I dropped it on the ground and I didn't have a case on it. <laughs> so I have PTSD from that. <laughs> Our new favorite show is Martha Stewart's Garden Show on HGTV at 10 p.m. on Fridays. Mark your calendars. I love my new phone. I love the case and the pop socket combo. And I love how it like brought over all my stuff to my new phone. So I totally forgot that like they did that. So that was really easy and I cleaned up like my apps and stuff like that. Um, so I get to watch YouTube videos on a much bigger screen and it's just going to be so nice. So I'm very, very happy with this. It'll be different getting used to like a giant, like this phone seems so giant, but I'm very excited for the upgrade and, um, I use Boost Mobile, so it's on sale right now if you guys also use Boost Mobile, so I love my 8, and so I thought the 8 Plus would be a good idea. It has like a better camera, and it's just like a little bit of an upgrade. So, love it! Hey you guys, it's Saturday, and I just filmed two videos, and I realized I still have my sunglasses marks. Because me and my mom went out to get breakfast sandwiches this morning, so I hope it wasn't too obvious or distracting so I'm trying to figure out like the angle and the lighting for like my new room setup and stuff so I'm still working on that but I'm going to film my shop my stash now we're already like six days into the month eight days into the month oh my god and I haven't done my shop my stash so I'm gonna have to do that where I want to do that actually right now so I'm gonna do that and I think that's the last video I'm going to film for today like other than vlogging and stuff I just wanted to check in with you guys and check my sunglasses marks oh my gosh <laughs> it's like so silly and I'm sure it's not even that big of a deal but I'm like really you didn't check that before you started filming so it is what it is <laughs> I just finished filming for the day and I wanted to show you guys some of the updates I made in my room. Um, oh, thank you guys so much for always like giving your like ideas of how I could like organize things differently because it like even if I don't do exactly what your suggestion is it like sparks like more ideas in my head. So I did a few different things over in this corner of my room. So I actually got a second one of these. I already had the white one and then I bought um, this dark brown one which matches like my Alex drawers and my vanity perfectly and these are just like plastic Sterilite drawers. So I got a suggestion to put my Christmas stuff in my closet and put my PJ drawer out here. So that's what I did. I put all my PJ stuff in here and then my bathing suits in the bottom drawer. All those drawers are the same. Then I have like my files and like the other stuff that was on top of there. I put that down there and then I moved all my Christmas stuff other than the wrapping paper thing which is that red thing. Um, 
I use wrapping paper throughout the year, not just at Christmas. So I have some different stuff there and I removed the light that was there, like the lamp. And Rachel is actually going to like use that in her room. So it worked out perfectly. And then in my closet, I changed things up a little bit in here too. So I put the, like some of the move out stuff up here. So this all was like these types of bins before, but it was stuff that I use from time to time, but I'll use it more than I need this stuff. So I put like some of my move out stuff that are just in like their own boxes. And then the red thing is where I keep all my ornaments. And then I have some other stuff in these containers. Like these used to be shoved in between there so now that's not there anymore so those are up there and then i have like my full winter purses in there and then all this stuff is the same but then down here i put my current season purses so these like long cardigans sometimes get in the way but i like had all my purses shoved in those bins which was fine but now i could like pick out a different purse if I wanted to um, for this season, even though I'm not going anywhere. So I just use the same purse. And then I have some of my Michael Kors bags, like um, the medium Selma. I have two of these and I haven't had a good place to store them, but having them sideways just kind of fits perfectly in there. And then I have two of my other purses. And then down here, I have a lot of my packing cubes, my steamer, and then some like travel bags there. So this is stuff that I would need to like access more easily than they were up in the bins. So that was changed. And then down here, I just readjusted my shoes and stuff because I put most of the things that were down there, I put those up there. And then my other Christmas stuff, like the bin that has my Christmas tree and or Christmas trees, and then my wreath, I am going to find a place in our basement. So I really don't have space in our basement right now, but I want to like get rid of a lot of stuff from when I was in college that we still have down there that I could get rid of that to make space for my Christmas stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. And I just wanted to give you that little update. It took a lot of like readjusting to figure all that out because it's just like, once you move one thing, then you have to like figure out where everything else goes. So kind of like a puzzle it's kind of fun but also stressful <laughs> so yeah that's where we're at with my room I don't anticipate like any other like major changes like that happening like anytime soon I really want to figure out a better solution for like this stuff like all my cups and then all my sunscreen that we don't even need this year because we're barely going outside which I do need to get outside more but yeah, so that was my update for this. I feel like in the corner, like where my light used to be, like over here, I would love to do like in the corner, like a hanging, like pendant light or something. But I don't know. I would need to really find a light. I love to commit for that spot, but I think it would like just be really nice. So we'll see, but yeah, that is my bedroom organization update. And I'm actually gonna go downstairs now for the first time in like three plus hours <laughs> to see what my mom and sister have been up to because from what they told me when we had lunch, they are gonna do some organization in like the spice cabinet and stuff. So if they have progress to show, I'll show you guys that as well. Look at this amazing spice cabinet. Mom and Rach worked on this for a long time. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is a clear turntable from um, the container store. And then I went out to Target and bought some of these from Target, <laughs> obviously. And so they're just white instead. So ideally they would be clear, but for now we have at least the turntable up here for the like stuff we don't use as much and more is this all like bakery stuff Rach? Yeah, it's all baking. It's like extracts, um, stuff like that. that's awesome oh down here this is our most used yeah and then this is like 
extra that we have to work through. And then this, I love this little corner piece that's like tiered. So that's really nice for all those extra things. And then they completely cleared out these cabinets. And I also got this from Target. We just did like a drive up pickup for our like seasonal, um, what are these called? Sprinkles. And so we have to figure out how to do all of our like baking stuff and everything that used to be in here. <laughs> so it's all over our kitchen, but we're working on it. And I think we've come up with some good solutions so far. Oh, what, what was the other thing mom liked? Oh yeah, up here. Um, we have this thing from the container store that's like a packet organizer. So we have like our taco seasoning mix and like all the other things. So I had another one smaller than that that I'm not using for my beauty stuff. So we're probably going to use their, use that somewhere else um, for different organizations. So yeah, they've been working up a storm and there's still work to be done, but we took a little break in between there to run out and get the stuff from Target and we got some Starbucks, let me show you. I decided to try the Caramel Crunch Frappuccino and it is amazing. Oh my God, it is like so rich and sweet and delicious. So I'm glad I got that and Rach got her fave peach green tea lemonade sweetened. And I had like two coupons from their current like game that they have going on. So these were each 50% off, which is like insane for Starbucks. So yeah, pretty happy about that. And we're watching our beloved Love It or List It. Oh, and we finished our gingerbread house. I never got to show you guys, but these roof pieces, oh my God, that probably like really made my anxiety spike. <laughs> I was so angry at those roof pieces. So Rachel dealt with those and it's just such a cute little scene. So I got some extra pieces to do a gingerbread house I saw online. And I literally look at this picture all the time. It is so gorgeous. And this is just like a freestyle build someone did. And I love especially the roof tiles. So I got like those pieces. And obviously I'm not like an expert to do all this other stuff, but we just thought it would be cute to have like that roof detail, especially in like the candy cane pieces like even this has. So eventually i'll get into doing like a freestyle gingerbread house but for now this is our first in our gingerbread village so here are the completed what are these called <laughs> so here <are> the <laughs> here <are> the complete <laughs> So here are the completed cabinets and up on the very top, Rachel put some of the things mom wanted to save like that are like sentimental to her. So I think that looks so cute. And then we have things on this shelf that we're gonna put labels on so we don't forget what's in those. And then we're so happy with how this shelf turned out like with all the bowls and stuff and liquid measuring cups. And then we have the sprinkles in the little turntable. And I even fit my new mini peanut butter cups for like on top of Sundays. And then we really like this setup for chocolate chips. And then like we have some orzo and chickpea pasta. So we have all those in there. And then our rice um, that my mom buys in like really big bags. So those can kind of just go back there. So. This is amazing and my mom and Rachel did a great job getting rid of so many things and I'm very like cutthroat which <laughs> my, which makes them very stressed so I'm like why can't we just get rid of all this stuff like anything that's in an old container yeah. Megan's like it's disgusting you need to be destroyed anything that's old I just want to get rid of like if it looks old I just don't like it so sorry <laughs> But it looks amazing and I think we'll be able to keep it looking like this forever. Good morning you guys. It's Sunday morning and I just made my coffee and look at those layers. Oh my god. I've been using the salted caramel Monine syrup and then top it with the Ghirardelli caramel syrup and it's amazing. And then this is the banana bread that I made last weekend. You just heat it up 
like heat up a slice for six, 15 seconds, 16 seconds, 16 seconds might even be more perfect, but um, just heat it up for a little bit and it is so delicious, especially with coffee. So I'm going to enjoy this and probably watch some YouTube or something and then get ready for the day. I just finished filming for the day and I'm going to change out of this dress because it's actually really, really hot, but I wanted to show you guys and I'm wearing one of my favorite dresses from Target and I got this right before quarantine <laughs> and um, it's just the cutest like white denim dress with a little bit of like a puff sleeve and it's not a full length sleeve um, and then I just have it tied a little bit and then I thought it was funny my new phone fits perfectly in the pocket I love that there's pockets and it's just so so nice but it's just a little too hot and I think I'm going to do some organizing in my bathroom so I don't want to be in this but just wanted to mention I am trying to get dressed up a little bit at least every so often instead of just wearing like my I wear like the same shorts all week or like trade off two pairs and just like t-shirts and stuff so feels good to get a, a little bit dressed up but now I think I'm gonna get into very very casual clothes for the rest of the day talk about a blast from the past i'm watching semi homemade with sandra lee i used to love this show and i'm watching a thanksgiving episode <laughs> i just love it food network go and hetv go have so many of the old shows so if you have cable definitely check out those apps because this has like all the seasons and <laughs> it's just amazing so i'm doing some more organization of my legos i got some bigger um, bead organizers so I mentioned I'm doing a like a gingerbread project with these like circle pieces so I have a ton of them and now I'm just like organizing some of the other buttons into these bigger ones so it's just like easier to get out than like these super tiny little holes so I'm just doing that mom and Rachel are doing their own organization project and I'll probably work on my bathroom closet in a little bit so I just finished organizing. I put a lot of the smaller pieces in these um, bead organizers and four of them fit perfectly in the Lego box. So that's exciting. And then I did some more reorganization of the drawers, which I love. We even have some empty drawers still, but I like divided some of the colors up a little more. Um, and I don't know. I feel like this is a work in progress, but we have like the main colors down in these drawers. And yeah, so all the big drawers are filled, which I really like. And then most of the small drawers are full. But yeah, I really, really love this. If you have Legos, I would definitely recommend it. And I um, divided up the drawers differently so they don't have the dividers anymore because it was just kind of annoying. The dividers were like breaking and stuff. So yeah, I like it a lot better this way. And some drawers are more empty than others, but that's all good. And in the mail, I got the T-Swift album. I love <laughs> that it's explicit. I don't know why that makes me like so like like laugh and also makes me excited. This is the Target exclusive Meet Me Behind the Mall edition which August is my current favorite song on the album so I absolutely love this album. Cardigan, Exile, August. Yeah those are my top three right now and this version has the bonus track The Lakes that you can apparently only get if you get a physical CD. So I think that's really cool and I love getting the Target version and it was on sale, so can't beat that. I love these everything but the bagel nuts. I've been eating them as an afternoon snack and I wish I would have got way more when we were at Trader Joe's, but if you have a Trader Joe's near you, be sure to try these out. These s'mores cookies are another one of my favorite snacks. These are those like really soft cookies. Oh my gosh, they're amazing and the s'mores flavor is great. And I just realized I better enjoy eating snacks today because tomorrow I get Invisalign and it'll be like impossible to eat snacks. So 
yeah, I'm gonna enjoy it now, and I'm glad I realized that so I can eat all the snacks I want tonight. You guys, this book is so good. I only have a little bit left. It's just like The Bachelor, so um, it's really, really good. And as I was reading, I actually ripped off all of the nails. Um, I just have been doing so much with my hands this weekend, and they were just starting to kind of peel up. So in the past, I only had them on like my ring finger, I think, and my index finger is like accent nails, and they lasted two weeks, but um, I just kind of was annoyed with them rolling up, so old habits die hard. I'm a big like nail, like I would always chip my nail polish, so I just like pulled all of the little things off as I was reading. But anyway, I really, really like this book and I can't wait to see what happens. I'm definitely like rooting for some of the guys, but I'm also like apprehensive about all of them. So it's just like watching the show. All right, you guys, let's end this vlog where we started off. Um, I just posted on my Instagram stories about um, deciding to get help for my anxiety and um, deciding to go back to therapy and start anxiety medication and I've already received a few messages from you guys and <laughs> it was bringing me to tears like I just want to if I can encourage anyone that feels like they might need help to seek help and everyone's journey and like the things that they need to get better will all look different but like talking to your doctor or just opening up to someone about it will be that first step and I just feel proud of myself for doing it and like for seeking help and I know how hard it is to like admit that you could use some help and um it's nothing to be ashamed of and honestly you'll be so much better because of it and it's like opened up a lot of conversations with my family and some of my friends so i just think it's really really important for us to take care of ourselves at all times, but especially in this crazy, <laughs> crazy situation we're all in with COVID and quarantine and <laughs> all these unprecedented things that we've been experiencing since March and now it's August and it's just a lot. So if you need that extra help, to get through this and just feel okay i encourage you to take that next step to get help and yeah so i hope you guys are all doing okay and hanging in there the best way that you can and tomorrow i can't believe it i'm getting invisalign and as i'm saying that i have like corn on the cob stuff stuck in between my teeth so i'm trying not to fully smile because i don't know what is in there but um yeah so i'm gonna like really floss well tonight and tomorrow afternoon i'm getting my invisalign put on so it's like all the little like things on your teeth so the aligners like snap into place and I'm nervous of like that process and then I'm nervous about having them but it's like obviously not as serious as like getting help for anxiety but it's a thing that I have known I want to do and in a sense need to do for the health of my teeth and just for like confidence and all that stuff but as I get older I realize like how weak these crooked teeth will become over time so I just really want to get this process started so I'm a little nervous but I know it will be all good and like my boss and people at work know I'm getting it done so I might like take some time off throughout the week if it's really like hurting I really don't know what to expect and um at dinner we were talking about like when Rachel first got braces and when I had braces and um I just had this like vivid memory of the night that I got braces which was in middle school um 
I was like, I need to, I was hungry. So I was like, I need to eat a snack that's like soft. And so I made a peanut butter and fluffer nut, fluffer nutter, yeah. So it's like peanut butter and fluff um, sandwich. And I made it like really thick because I was like, oh, it'll be so soft and like all that stuff. But it was the stickiest, oh, most horrible thing to try to eat, like in general, let alone if your teeth are sore and <laughs> you just, oh my God, it was just so funny to remember that moment because I could just vividly remember myself making it in our kitchen and <laughs> it was just hilarious. So I'm not going to eat a peanut butter and fluff sandwich tomorrow but I'm glad we had the corn on the cob tonight because I don't think I'll be in the mood for that for a long time and my um dental hygienist who also has had um Invisalign she was like it might actually help you lose weight as well because you don't want to take out the aligners to snack. Like you have to leave the aligners in 22 out of 24 hours a day. So you only really want to take them out at meal time. And that's also why I'm glad we're in quarantine for this because to have to deal with that like at my office or wherever I would go, I can't imagine but um yeah I can see myself not really wanting to have to deal with taking them in and out so I probably will shed a few pounds which would be nice <laughs> during quarantine because I've definitely put on a few pounds so yeah I I don't know where this whole thing will take me but and how long it will take but I am excited to see my teeth change and get back to a nice <laughs> smile but anyway I hope you guys are doing okay and have a good weekend and I filmed a bunch of videos this weekend so I should have content pretty much for two solid weeks even if I don't feel like filming in real time but i'm sure i'll see you guys really soon and thank you so so much for watching i really appreciate it take care of yourselves and i will see you very soon bye